Hello, I am Minecraft Phenom08, and welcome to the ninth episode of my Rails of Industry Minecraft series. In today's episode, I hope to upgrade my rail making capabilities or my track ca making capabilities. And I also want to run a line of track to what will become my hub base, uh, as in my central base. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is I actually want to make some steel because what I want to do shortly is make a rolling machine from the mod railcraft. Now right now I have the manual rolling machine but that doesn't work so well because I have to be standing there to actually make the rails. So I want to go ahead and make this powered rolling machine. The thing is I need these steel gears and to make steel there's actually a pretty simple recipe if I can find it real fast and that would be cold coke along with uh, iron ingots. So I have a, little, a lot of cold coke from my coke oven so let's grab a stack of the cold coke. Let's grab a stack of iron ingots as well and let's go over to my induction smelter which is right over here. And I should be able to make steel with this right here. So that's fantastic. And it looks like the uh, the speed of it is pretty good too. So that is always nice. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put an output to the top. And I know I have some chests around here somewhere. Uh, there we go. So let's go ahead and put a chest up above. So that I can get my steel automatically exported to that chest. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go grab some zinc ore. Now I have some zinc ore that I have made with my void ore miner, so let's grab that real fast. And that's something I will need for the power rolling machine. Uh, I'm not sure if with this mod pack and with how I've added railcraft to, to this mod pack, if zinc will actually spawn in the overworld. I haven't seen any yet, but uh, it still could be there somewhere. But uh, the only way that I've gotten zinc ore so far is through my void ore miner. And to actually get some zinc ingots, uh, let's take a look at um, where I actually need this zinc. Uh, I actually can just smelt this directly with a furnace. There is no pulverizer recipe. I did look at that. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to throw all of it into this furnace here. I don't need a whole lot of zinc, so I don't need to really worry about the yield. Um, if I were to use an induction smelter, which is something I can do with sand, I can actually uh, do some ore doubling, or um, I can't use the pulverizer, but uh, my main system of ore processing is actually uh, things get pulverized and then furnished, and that is actually an ore doubling mechanism, whereas if you just straight up furnace it, it does not do that. So uh, let's see here. Do we have enough steel to make s some steel gears? Yes, I do. Oh my goodness, that thing is actually pretty fast. So that is nice. Let's see if the steel gear recipe is this right here. So I need four of those. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So I also need a crafting table. So let's also do that. Uh, there we go, crafting table. And then um, I need some pistons. I don't think I have any more pistons. I did have some earlier, but I believe I used them all. So let's go ahead and make some pistons and I don't think I'm gonna make a whole lot of extras here let's grab some redstone I think I'm actually going to go ahead and make four pistons because that's just kinda of what I have laying around um, as far as wood supply goes I guess so I can't quite remember if it's yes that's correct so let's grab that back and then I need this charge motor. So for this charge motor, I'm going to need a few things. I do have a hammer somewhere, a forge hammer. I think it's over here. So I think I need a couple tin plates. So let's get those real fast. Uh, the forge hammer is one way that you can get plates. And the recipe is just like that right there. And let's see. For the, I have steel ingots, obviously. For the charge terminal, I will need uh, brass ingots and brass plates. Um, I need copper and zinc, so actually the recipe is really, really easy. So let's get six copper and two zinc. And like I said, I don't need a whole lot of the zinc. And I think we can just go ahead and do the recipe right here. That's brass. And then I need, what, one plate? Okay, so I can't do that for the plate. That's kind of surprising, but that's okay. Um, I can get this engineer's hammer. 
Or I can do that. Okay, so that works uh, just fine. Okay, let's see. What? Okay, so I should be able to make the charge terminal now. Let's um, move those up there. Uh, lastly, I need a bunch of these charge coils. So I'm going to need some iron plates. Um, do I have iron ingots with me? I do not. So let's just grab half a stack real fast. And then let's make... Okay, so here's the recipe. Um, I actually want, what, three of them? And I already forgot. Yes, three. Okay, so next I need these, uh, this right here. So actually, that's really, really simple. That is super simple, in fact. So I need a block of copper. Wait, what? I thought the recipe was... Okay, so that's weird. Uh, that's not showing up like it should. Let's try this. Um, okay, so let's try the conductive iron block if we can do that. Uh, to make conductive iron, I need redstone and iron. And okay, so let's just let's just try that real fast. Let's grab. Ten redstone and nine iron ingots. I have no idea if that's the right ratio, but that's okay. We'll just try that. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait on that to uh, cook up the redstone and the iron ingots. And after that's done, I will be right back. So I just realized something. I derped up when I was trying to do the uh, the recipe for the charge coil here. Um, this is a metal rolling recipe. This is not a crafting table recipe. That's why it wasn't working. So if I go over to my manual rolling machine, this should work out just fine. And let's go ahead and click this so that we can actually make that. And now I should have the, the uh, large charge wire spool that I need. So yes, I do want to upgrade this manual rolling machine. A, it's slow. Although I'm not sure if the powered rolling machine is faster or not. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, I didn't even realize I could do that. Okay, so I think if I do this, I can get these little ones. And then I should be able to do that. So I should be able to wrap this up. Fantastic. So let's see. There we go. And then that should be all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this rolling machine right here. And I'm going to need some flux duct. Um, I think this is just straight up leadstone. So yes, it is. So what I'm going to do is... I can actually get rid of this right there. Because... Uh, I'll have that right there. Okay, so the powered rolling machine. Okay, so I'm not sure that it can accept RF anymore. So let me test this out by um, taking this iron and doing this. Yes, okay, so this can't use RF anymore apparently. So let me take a look at what my options are for actually getting this some power. Um, e loaders. Uh, there's some batteries. I thought there would be some sort of way to convert RF to uh, Railcraft Charge, but I'm not sure that there is anymore. And that's that's not ideal, but I should be able to find a way around this. Um, yeah, I don't think anything here is going to show me what I need. Okay, so I might need to do something with Industrial Craft 2 to get this thing power. That's not super... I Hang on. 
Okay, so there is... This does play with RF somewhere. Um, you know what? I'm going to do a little bit of research off camera, and hopefully I'll come up with something, and hopefully I'll be, I will be able to actually power this thing with my RF. And as soon as I figure that out, I will be right back. So I figured out exactly how I'm going to do this, and that is by using a multi-block structure called a flux transformer. It converts redstone flux to raycraft charge, and that's exactly what I need. So let's go ahead and take a look at the recipe. It's this right here. I've actually already got everything all ready to go. It is a two by two by two multi-block structure, so I need eight of these. So I have everything to make eight of those, and that is that right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to uh, pick up this chest and this crafting station, and I'm going to move them to somewhere else. I think I'm going to put the crafting station over here and I'm going to put the chest right beside it. So this is gonna be a little bit of chaos right here, but that's okay, I can just pick up everything and um, move it. So yeah, one thing that I will need to do somewhat soon is I, um, at my hub base, I plan to get everything. Okay, so where's the chest at? It's right here, whoops. Okay, so everything that I don't need, let's throw that uh, in here. So that stays with me, but just about everything else can go in there. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put my flux transformer right here. Okay, so that looks like it's awfully active to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move this uh, powered rolling machine to right beside the uh, flux transformer, and that should be able to accept charge from it. So if I go ahead and dig down here, I should be able to uh, hook up my flux duct to the uh, flux transformer right there. And I have the wrong type of flux duct with me. That's my bad. I should have some of the right kind right here. And so this should be getting charged, and it is, so that's fantastic. That's exactly what I want to see. So I'm actually going to um, take that back so that I can cover this back up. So this is getting energy now, so I should be able to use this. And unlike the manual rolling machine, I can go away while this goes, so that's fantastic. So what I want to do next is I actually want to get a chest right beside that. And I should have some chests somewhere. And there they are. And let's do that. I also want to grab a servo and an item duct. I know I have servos somewhere as well as some item duct. Uh, here's a servo. And actually, I can't even do that because I need to place down the item duct first. I'm not really sure where my item duct is. should be in one of these two chests I would think but maybe I am wrong. oh there it is so that's what I'm looking for and I actually need two of them I don't know why I just grabbed one and hopefully this allows me to auto extract items from the rolling machine and get them into the chest okay so that doesn't look like the okay there it goes it just was gonna take its time. So fantastic. Uh, what I want to do right now is I wanna load that up with uh, some things so that it can make uh, rails. So let's grab a bunch of iron ingots. Uh, I don't wanna grab too many. Let's grab three stacks. That should be good. Um, and then we can get this thing going. So this will make a lot of track and it'll all be transported to this chest and that is fantastic. So the next part of actually making track is those rail beds. And right now I don't have a good way to make the rail beds, but let's change that. Let's uh, build something so that I can make these rail beds. So the recipe for the rail beds is four wooden ties and the wooden ties is made with are, are made with creosote oil and uh, slabs of wood here. So the slabs of wood aren't really a problem. I have lots of wood out here. So let's actually grab some of that. Um, and that's way more wood than I'm going to need, but whatever. And how I'm going to do this is I'm going to grab a machine called a sequential fabricator. 
I actually have one of them made up and just wanted to do a little bit of testing. And there's my sequential fabricator. Let's take a look at the recipe real fast. It's nothing special, I don't think. Uh, just copper gears, tin, crafting table, and machine frame, as well as a redstone reception coil. Basically, it's a thermal expansion machine. Um, their crafting recipes are all pretty similar, or most of them anyways. So what I want to do now is I actually have an augment that I need to place in this thing. And that would be a fluidic this thing. So I need... Um, there's not actually much I need here, so let's grab some copper. I need uh, a little bit of glass. Um, I do need some redstone and some iron. Okay, so redstone and iron. That's just about everything I need, I think. So let's make this redstone servo first. I just need one of those. I need a bucket as well, and I don't want to use my one of my egg buckets that I carry around with me all the time. So there's that. I also need to do an upgrade so that I can actually apply this augment. So let's do that as well. And the upgrade, uh, bronze, invar, and redstone. So I should have everything I need in here. I'm actually a little bit low on bronze right now, but that's not really a problem. I can always rectify that in the future. So let's go ahead and make this. Okay, so let's grab a few more things while I'm here. I want to grab a servo. I want to grab, actually, let's grab two servos. And I want to grab some fluid out if I have any left over. I do. So let's just grab all of it. Um, and I also want to grab one of these tanks. So what I'm going to do now is let's go out here and I'm going to tap into my creosote oil. Oh, nice. Nice eclipse. So uh, what I want to do is let's grab this fluid out. Let's set it up to go to this tank. And I want to have a servo here. So that should fill up the tank. And then I want my sequential fabricator to be here. Let's go ahead and actually let's rotate this thing. Uh, let's have insert from that way. Let's put our fluid duct here. And right now it does not have a fluid tank. So the fluid duct does not uh, attach to it. But if I put in this, it should. So it has a tank now. Um, one thing I do want to do real fast is I want to grab a bucket of creosote oil and now I can apply the servo here. Okay, so my recipe is going to be, actually I need to run over here real fast. Actually, uh, I was wondering if that would be recipe, but it's not. So the recipe I want, I want to make a bunch of these first off. Actually, I could have done that cleaner. And let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so we have a bunch of these wooden slabs, which is cool. So the recipe is going to be wooden slabs with the creso oil on top. And we're going to hit the check mark to save that. And now we need to provide it some power. The power is not really an issue. We have um, some power over here. So what I want to do is let's use my flex bore. Let's turn it to single block mode and let's do a little bit of digging. I also need to grab some flux duct, but that's not really a problem. Okay, so I'm using the leadstone flux duct over here, so let's grab leadstone flux duct. Hopefully I have enough of it laying around somewhere. Uh, and this is already done, so that's pretty fantastic. Okay, so I have a little bit right here that's not really... I think all that I have. I thought I had more somewhere. Maybe I don't. Okay, so leadstone flux duct is pretty cheap. So let's just go ahead and make some more. I think it's just mainly lead and redstone and glass. Yes, redstone, lead, and glass. So actually, let's let's get rid of some of this wood real fast. Uh, let's just drop it in here. And. Okay, so that should have been enough inventory space for right now. Let's grab 60 redstone. Oh, I already have plenty. Um, 10 glass. 
and then 20 lead. There we go, and now we should be able to make a bunch of this stuff. And let's go ahead and run the flux duct so that we can see if this thing will actually work. So, I didn't mean to place that. Actually, I do want to place wood here. Okay, so that should be powered. Let's hit the check mark. Let's see if that will craft. Fantastic. So as you can see, it doesn't need buckets. It just uses the creosote oil. And this thing will fly, apparently. So we're going to get a lot of these wooden railroad ties really, really quickly, which is absolutely the goal. And I'm pretty happy with the performance of that thing. So the next thing I want to do is let's go ahead and... You know what? I might put another sequential fabric. I might put another like two sequential fabricators here. Uh, first to turn the wood into the um, the the basic uh, yeah the uh, oak wood planks, and then another fabricator to turn the oak wood planks into the oak wood slabs. So actually, I yeah I I super want to do that. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, that'll just make my life really easy. Which uh, basically all I will have to do is I will just put in oak wood and this will the system will automatically make what I need. So let's put an output on top and I need to make two more sequential fabricators uh, like I showed earlier. They're a pretty simple machine to make. So I need some tin. I think I need some iron. I'm not 100% sure on that. I need some copper. I need some redstone and I need some glass. Okay, so I need two of these things. Okay, so first off, let's make some tin gears. There we go. Let's make two of these guys. Let's make uh, a couple of those. A couple crafting tables. And then... Oh, I know I don't, I don't have gold. So let's grab a couple of golden ingots. So that we can make the reception coils. And then let's go ahead and finish up the recipes. So cool. And now we can run out here and we can place these down. And this will make things really, really easy. Okay, so what we're going to do is input from the left, output to the right. Okay, so this one will be this recipe right here. Right, and let's just throw in the wood. And then this will receive the wood planks, and the recipe is uh, that right there. Fantastic. So we're going to have a lot of wooden ties. Let's go ahead and grab a chest real fast. And actually, I could have added one more sequential fabricator, but that's okay. The next recipe is a 2x2 two two recipe, which means I can just do it whenever I please. And I don't need a crafting table, so that's not really a problem. So let's go ahead and put that there. And voila, wooden ties. Lots and lots of wooden ties. So I think I'm going to come up a little bit short of actually building my rail line today. But the thing is, I am automatically able to, or almost automatically able to make track. I'm able to make all the components to make track. Uh, the last thing I have to do is simply just put them all together. And so I'm pretty happy with the progress. So anyways, in today's episode, I set up a little system over here that can automatically make these wooden ties. It will use my creosote oil, but uh, I mean, that's why I made this huge tank of creosote oil is so that I can make a bunch of these wooden ties. And now I can do that automatically. I also built a rolling machine over here with a flux transformer that will allow me to make these standard rails as well as other types of rails that I make, may make in the future. I should say, will make in the future. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I did today. If you enjoyed today's episode, definitely give it a like. If you like watching automation type stuff in modern Minecraft, definitely consider subscribing to my channel because that's kind of what I do, typically anyways. So anyways, signing off, I am Minecraft Phenom 8 and I will see you next time.